Good morning, everybody. It's Thursday morning. It's uh, August 19th. And I uh, just wanted to share something with you in light of what's going on in Afghanistan, uh, especially this week. But especially, uh, obviously, has been going on for the last few weeks as uh, we withdrew our forces, uh, our really, which are largely functioning as trainers and helpers um, from Afghanistan. There's a scripture in Proverbs chapter 3, which is very poignant right now for us. Some versions say, give honor to whom honor is due. Uh, the New Living Translation says, do not withhold good from those who deserve it when it's in your power to help them. And I think you'd agree with me, regardless of whether you're Democrat, Republican, or Independent, uh, based on what I'm hearing uh, from the halls of Congress this morning, I think you'd agree with me that uh, the nature of our withdrawal has been a tragedy. Um, there are, as of this morning, more than 12,000 Americans stuck in Kabul, Afghanistan, and cannot get to the airport uh, to be airlifted out and are vying for their safety. There was one woman who is Muslim uh, because she was not wearing a burqa yet when the Taliban took power. She was murdered cold-bloodedly in the street. Um, there are Taliban going door to door looking for Christian pastors and looking for uh, Muslim interpreters, uh, people that stood with the U.S. Army and Armed Forces and other, and uh, helped us. And we have not fulfilled our promise to those interpreters and their families to get them out. Do not withhold good from those who deserve it. I would encourage you to not only call your Congress people or make it known to them what needs to happen, but I want to encourage you to pray for the people of Afghanistan this morning and the days to come. And let's all, regardless of our background, um, have the best in mind for the people in our world and do whatever we can to aid them during these. Crisis. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.